hello girls welcome to your second lesson in this Vue.js 3 full tutorial and in this lesson we are going to be looking at how to create a view application but before we do that there is one other thing i quickly wanted to show you remember when i said i'm going to create a repo which is going to contain all the cost files so this is the repo right here okay and uh, view js3 tutorial playlist you can find it at uh, this link and also the link will be in the description below so each one of the files each one of uh, the lessons have been uploaded onto different branches and when you look here the main branch actually right here is the lesson two and then we have other branches lesson three lesson four lesson five and the as the course progresses the remaining files will also be uploaded um onto the repo so if you need the files for lesson three you you can get it here lesson four five and um, I want to note again, this main is actually lesson two. <laughs> I'm sorry for the shoddy work, but I guess I'm just too lazy to um, rectify this. So that's all for now. And now let's continue on with the lesson. Okay, so I'm currently right here on Vue.js website. It says here the progressive JavaScript framework and I agree with that. Okay, so how about let's look at their quick start on getting started. Now the usual way like i told you we can make use of view maybe as a widget a standalone widget or as a complete application which is what the focus of this course is which my belief being that once you're able to build a complete application with Vue.js, when it comes to working with uh, view widgets or injecting it in a particular um a component in a particular type of a web application or website it becomes something that is easy for you so now the way we usually do this is using of the view cl right here but as of the, the time of the recording of this course it says here the view cli is currently in maintenance mode so you might decide not to go along with that because um it, various things are going on behind the scene and it's being worked on but i would show you the way uh to create view with both this particular um cli and the um, current alternative had to creating your view app so normally you just um, click on the, um, copy this and install the view cli globally okay using npm and by the time of this depending on the time you are listening to this or watching this uh the maintenance might be finished up so you might use the standard recommended view cli but as of now a view gave us another option which is making use of this option here okay and i'm going to show you both option okay so i'm right here inside of the folder i created specifically for this course and then i'm just going to do something i'm going to say cmd and then right here i'm going to do something come here okay for the cli you can copy this and install it globally but since i have it installed i'm not going to do that and then i'm just going to show you the first method okay so to confirm whether i have it installed you can just type view and then version okay and then that will show you the version of the view cli okay i have version 5.0.8 here so the way we do this is i can just create okay view then create and then the name of my the view application so i'm going to say my view app okay so let's do that and let's see what is going to bring up okay so we have this br uh, brought out okay we have pick a preset now you could pick view 2 or view uh view 3 but i'm going to just manually select fi features here okay so we can have uh babel yes we want that so you basically select the options you want if you want to add typescript you want to add a progressive web app support you want to add router you want to add uh view x uh you want to have css preprocessors and all of these basically i'm not adding any of these options so i'm just going to click on enter okay what version do we want okay i'm going to select version 3 and then do we want s links okay i'm just going to select the first option and then enter and then enter and then save this preset i'm going to say no okay so which package manager okay i'm going to use npm instead of yarn so and then let's watch that actually install so it's going to initialize and install and i'm just going to skip this over to when it's finished installing okay and we can see it right here it has finished uh 
everything creating our view app so i can just cd into my view app so my view app okay and uh basically open it up in my code editor but we won't do that yet let's look at the second method which view actually provides for us right now so i'm going to come here and we're going to see okay it says npm init view at latest so this is a bit different from this previous option so i'm going to just clear this and then i'm going to go back a bit okay so now let's copy uh, paste this right here and if you've not run this command before it's going to actually um install a particular tool but you don't actually need to bother or worry about that so i'm going to click on enter now it's asking me for the project name for the project name i want it to be my view app two and then should do i want to use typescript no okay gsx supports i don't really need that okay add view router for spa development no add pinia for state management no add vitess vitess for unit testing no no add as lint i think i want these add prettier for code formatting no and then it's basically going to generate the file for this so then you do you do cd my view app to okay and then you can basically do run npm install okay which i'm not going to do but basically npm install is going to install the dependencies and if i should come right here and we can see the, my view app right here we can see public folder slc folder and if you come to my view app too we can also see public slc it basically um give us in this end give us the same thing so congratulations on creating your first view app okay so let's quickly open this up in visual studio code and let's see how it looks like so i'm just going to clear this and then clear my um command prompt here and then i'm going to go back and oh sorry okay so i'm going to say cd and then my view app okay so i'm going to open it with visual studio code by typing code dot and then enter so i'm right here in visual studio code i'm going to say yes i trust this now before i actually do anything right here what i want you to do is come right here to extension and i want you to search for view okay so i want you to search for view it's going to bring up okay the first one i want you to actually install is actually i think view vitor okay so vitor this is the first one i actually would want you to install so click on install so this is going to help you with some interesting things um code formatting and, and a whole lot of things in uh, syntax alighting semantic alighting snippet etc so first download Vito, and then secondly i want you to just search for view and you're going to see another okay which is view three snippet so this will basically help you to generate some interesting snippets and make your life easier you see it comes with load of snippets right here all right let's dive into our app structure so i'm going to close this now the first thing you're going to see here is the node models okay and you don't need to touch that in fact 99.999999 percent of the chance at time uh we don't have any business with the node models okay so we're going to see before i go to the public and slc okay we have the browser list rc you don't need to actually touch that so we don't have any business with that we have okay es links rc the js which is basically some rules for s links okay we have git ignore which you don't need to touch also most of the time it's basically um auto generated and it's going to ignore things such as the node module the env files etc while uploading to uh git okay we have the baby configuration right here okay most of the time you don't need to touch um or play around with this but unless maybe you want to add some extra configuration for baby okay we have our js config dot J Jason, uh, okay, we don't actually need to worry about that also. And then we have the packet dot law, packet lock, and packet um Jason. Okay, this basically lists the dependencies. Okay, that we are making use of in our 
app and we have okay called js we have view here and we have some dev dependencies here such as babel okay s links etc and then we have the readme which basically is also auto generated and just describes the default description for our uh, view project and then we have view configuration file okay uh sometimes you might do some a bit of manual touching but most of the time you don't need to and then if you should come right here to public so remember when i said a view app basically sent uh or an sp basically sent a single html app so this is basically what we are sending to the um to the browser okay and everything else is automatically inject inside of here okay and when we have the vavicon right here all right now let's go into the slc this is where we are actually going to deal with most of what we need to do 99 percent of the time you're going to be spending all of your time writing the src so we have the main dot js and what this basically does is it imports create app from view and then all right it says create app and then imports this app right here also okay from app dot view here and then it says create app dot mount app and what this basically does is that this app dot view every code that is inside this app dot view which is more of like our entry point okay it's basically ejects them into this index.html here and using this id of app so that's basically what this code translates to okay it says create a view app and then we want you to mount it wherever okay we have this id of app so basically th just think of it as when working with vanilla javascript you say something like document.query selector and then you put your Ash and then app and then we'll say okay inside of it we want to inject our view app and that's basically what happens right here so it basically injects it here all right moving on we have our app dot view here okay and app dot view we basically see we have a the template which consists of html okay we have the script here and then we have the style which is our css styling okay and then inside of there we imported hello world which is on the inside of components right here okay we imported hello world and then we put it inside of this app dot view so we can see the structure so this is where you basically create your component and then we also have an asset folder where you can add things like images uh so on and so forth now in the next lesson we are going to be looking into view components and everything you need to know about view components how to create them and things and all of that stuff so i'm going to see you in the next lesson